Hey everybody, it's Ray, and today I'm going to show you how to update your AT&T Samsung Galaxy S3 to Android 4.1 Jelly Bean that was just released. So it's not an over-the-air update, so you can't just download it directly from um, over Wi-Fi or 4G or 3G or whatever, but uh, there is a way for you to update it through Samsung. So the first thing you have to do is go to samsung.com slash US support slash support owners FAQ pop up dot do question mark FAQ yada 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 yada. Make sure you note that down. There will be a link in the description bar below. And <clears throat> you want to check to make sure your device is actually compatible. Uh, if you purchase it directly from AT&T, it should be, but you can go to the settings and then you go and go to about, you can go to the about phone or about device and see that it is on the correct baseband. And as you can see, mine is running uh, Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich and it should have a baseband of um, 1747UCLEM or one of these listed on Samsung's website 1747UCLG1, 1747UCLH9 or 1747UCL15 and again it will be 1747UCDLJ afterward. So now that you know that you have the right baseband, uh, you can go ahead and update it. So how do you get this update? Well, first of all, like I said, you go to the website and then you have to download Samsung Keys or Keys or whatever it is. So it says over here, you gotta install it. So we're gonna install it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it'll probably prompt me for my password. Agree. Now, this may or may not be different uh, on the Windows. Personally, I haven't used Windows in a while. Let me just enter my password here. And it tells you install it. So, we're just going to install it. It doesn't take that long. The process shouldn't be that much different on Windows. <clears throat> so, installation was successful. Wow, you gotta do a reboot. So we're gonna do a reboot. Okay, so I'm back and I just finished rebooting and I'm gonna go to Launchpad. Uh, go to the keys, open it up. Then it asks me a new version of, is available, do you wanna update? Sure, we'll update, always update to make sure you're ready to go. This keys update is taking a little bit of time. I'm just gonna let this run. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, continue. And we're gonna update this. It's probably gonna run through the same installer. Ask me for my password, which I'll type in now. And it says, do you want to continue installation? Can you just install this? Hopefully this won't ask. For... And it asked me for a restart again, so ridiculous. Okay, so we'll restart this computer again for a second time. Okay, so we're going to go once again to the launch pad. I'm going to open keys. And it opens. So it says automatically scan for multimedia, blah, 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 skip auto scan. Uh, we don't need to do that. Okay, so we're going to skip that. No music found. Okay, so we've got your Samsung Galaxy S3 down here. This thing is trying to do this. And you'll also need a, where did I put it? A USB cable. I don't know where it went. 
don't know where my cable went. So, bear with me for a second while I find it. Okay, I'm back. I've got the micro USB port cable, and uh, I'm going to plug one end into my Mac. You plug it into your PC or whatever, and get this half in. And, okay, so now we can go here. How do I update? Okay, so you go here, you go back to the keys, and you go to devices, which it should start showing up. It shows that it's connecting to a device. So the device should already be syncing. It's taking a little while for it to actually data okay so you can see it popped up it said a new firmware version is available upgrading may improve the performance of sgh 1747 that's your galaxy s3 and we're gonna go ahead and update but before you update um you should always back up your uh, media back up everything on your phone in case something goes wrong um you don't need a micro sd or a sim card in your phone so if that makes you a little feel a little more safe, go ahead and do that. Take it out. I took mine out. It's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and click update. As you can see, it says backup firmware upgrade for whatever will now start. And we're going to click ahead and have I read all of information and start upgrade. Keeps reminding you to back up your info. And if you want to transfer it. So, no. Downloading the file for firmware update. So, again, depending on your internet connection, it will uh, take a while or be really quick. Um, my internet connection has been a little wonky lately, so it might be a little slow. But right now it's at 2%, 3%, and so on and so forth. So we're going to just let this run and uh, see what happens at the end. <clears throat> okay, so it just finished 100%. And now on the Galaxy S3, you can see that it's updating. See that it's downloading some stuff. And we got the little Android logo. And we're going to wait for this to download as well. So back on the screen, you can see it says firmware upgrade in process please do not disconnect the cable connect it to the PC and then it's giving you another percentage bar so we'll have to see how this goes Okay, 100%. And the phone is rebooting now. Okay, firmware update upgrade complete. Restarting the device, disconnect and reconnect the device. So the Android icon just flashed. So we're going to go quickly in here, and we're just going to go into the settings and confirm that we are indeed on Android 4.1 Jelly Bean. So we're going to go back to the About device, and you can see over here, Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean, and the baseband has now changed. Feels pretty good. Um, 
I'll need some more time to test it. But yeah, that is how you update your ice cream sandwich Samsung Galaxy S3 to Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean. This is for the AT&T model. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.